In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how can you take an application and package it with Docker in Docker's image format and then publish it on the Docker Hub, just like how we use the images for WordPress and the next cloud. This is an example application. It's written in C and uh, this is the source code. So you always start with the source code and how do you package your you know, application into a Docker image is using a Docker file. There is a script. It's like a, in, you know, just like infra writing infrastructure as a code. You write the image build process as a code here. And that's fundamental principle of DevOps. So you codify everything, you write everything in a declarative syntax, just like what you see on the screen, which is a process to build an image for this particular application, which is created or written in C. And at the end of this, it would be published on the registry, just like all these images that you see here. I'm going to show you another more sophisticated example of a Docker file. Again, what you see here is just a declarative interface, which defines the step-by-step -step process of building that image for an application. Now I'm just going to demonstrate how to, you know, use this file or the script and how the image is built and published and, you know, um, and how can you test it as well? So I begin by cloning that code first, cd into the directory where the code is. This is where my Docker file is. And from here, I start or launch the build process by feeding in the Docker file that I showed you earlier here. Now this command reads, starts reading the Docker file and it starts executing those instructions one step at a time. And just like a VM image, it creates certain intermediate environments and it installs all, you know, compiles that software, copies it over, installs any dependencies it requires. So it's the application and the runtime environment that it is packaging along with. And the result of this process would be a ready to use packaged version of my application along with the runtime, along with the operating system files, along with everything that it would require in order to run by itself. And that is how Docker images are self dependent because they've been built with the complete runtime. And that's the reason why when I showed you the next cloud or the WordPress application that I launched in the previous demonstration did not require any additional steps in order to launch those. So that's my image build process. As you observe, it is pulling the packages, installing, compiling, and I have that image finally ready built and tagged with whatever application and the, you know, image name I want to provide it with along with my account name on the Docker Hub. Docker Hub is similar to GitHub where you will find the images or you can publish the images and somebody else can use it. You can also make those private repositories of images just like GitHub allows you to do. So what I'm doing now is publishing the image that I've just created to Docker Hub, which is the Docker image registry. So I just authenticated with it and now I'm publishing or pushing the images. The workflow is very similar to Git. So you, you know, you can use Docker image build and Docker image push. You can pull an image just like Git pull, Git diff, Git commit. You have commands with Docker images as well. And here I'm using just like Git push, I'm using Docker image push or Docker push will also work. And this is pushing or synchronizing my image and publishing it on the registry, which I'll show you in a minute's time. All right, now this image has been published. I should be able to go to my account where I have published it to and find this image available there. This is what I see here with the tag that I've mentioned, that's the version of my image. And as you notice, this image 
has been published just a few seconds or a minute ago. So publishing an image, building and publishing an image is as simple as this. What I'm showing you now is this image. I'm uh, logging into another server and I'm going to pull this image just like how I described earlier and run a container out of that. If I use this docker run command, it will automatically pull the image and start the container with it. And this is what I, what you see here. So it's going to pull the image now. That's what it is doing. And it's going to run a container out of that, which should have my application along with its runtime. So once I launch this application, I should be able to start using it right away. There I see it, it's running on this uh, server on a particular port that is 16,000. So I find out my IP address and the port number and go to the browser and load it directly there. There you see it. So once the image has been built, it can be launched and used right away. So I just demonstrated how to build an image, package an application and build a Docker image, publish it and launch it.